continues to play. Well, just a few weeks ago, many of us thought the big story at Titans training camp would be the centered around Chris Johnson's holdout. Well, unfortunately or fortunately for everyone involved, CJ and the Titans agreed to a new deal for this season. Both parties can move on and focus on the upcoming year. Now, Mike Rogers is here, and Mike, I guess we're not any of us going to miss those questions in training camp, are we? It's signed, sealed, delivered. Let's go. Oh, not at all. You know, I think the best part, Hope, is that it's all about football right now, and it's all about Chris Johnson being a member of the Tennessee Titans. You know, I think everybody in the Nashville media is glad that this deal got done before training camp even got underway over the last year. A lot has changed for Chris Johnson. He's become a household name amongst football fans around the country. And despite not receiving the contract he desired, the number one thing he's recently gained, the respect of his teammates. I'm sure he's not all the way satisfied, but you know, no one it really is. So, you know, um, I mean, we want to win the championship and he's a big part of that. So we need him here and, you know, I'm glad he wants to be here and be around his teammates. And, you know, when you got a guy that wants to be here, wants to play football, then everything's going to work out. And the first steps towards a championship run may have occurred this weekend. The Chris Johnson story at the start of training camp was not about a contract dispute or a holdout situation. Instead, it was about football, CJ's goals, his recent success, and his team entering the season as an underdog. We don't want to come into the season like most teams and everybody gunning at us because everybody picking us to be um, Super Bowl champs and things like that. The year I came in here my rookie year and we went 13-3 and three and won the first 10 games. Nobody didn't, wasn't expecting us to go to the Super Bowl until we was like 7-0, 8-0. So I'd rather come be the underdog. From underdog to instant celebrity, the career of Chris Johnson has exploded as quickly as he runs through tackles. And the early reviews surrounding his newfound fame are positive. CJ has not changed one bit. I don't know what other people might see, but with all his success, and when he came back here, he's, he's the same guy. Like, he's not... He hasn't been like talking about how about how he did last year and how and everything. He's been he's oh he's still been about the team. He's still somebody you could just talk to just to have fun with. He's still somebody who I just kind of mess around with, just kind of push him or just mess around with him. But he's yeah he's still the same guy. He stayed humble. He hasn't got conceded. And that's one thing that I that I really like. Uh, that's actually my older brother. He might be smaller than me, but I call him my, my big brother and things like that. And uh, he's a funny guy on, on the field, off the field, especially in the huddle in the game. You don't know, think he'll joke around and stuff like that. He'll, he'll come and slap me in my helmet. Come on, bro. You make this happen now. What's happened to Johnson is something that most professional athletes shy away from, but not for CJ. You see, his time in the spotlight is something he's been dreaming of. Yeah, I love the fame. Um, that was one of my goals to become famous, and it's happening, so it's a good thing. When you look back, you got the SBs, you got the offensive player. What's been your favorite part of all that fame and notoriety? Um, I think the SBs, that was, I really enjoyed the SBs, really. Getting to go out there on the stage, accepting an award, and really giving a speech and things like that. So um, I, that, that was one of the best experiences I went through. And the real fun has just started for Titans fans, who will have an opportunity to follow Johnson's pursuit of making NFL history. CJ will attempt to become the first player with 2,000 yards in back-to-back -back seasons. He enters the season with a streak of 11 consecutive games with 100 or more rushing yards. Three more of those will tie Barry Sanders' record. Watching CJ this season will be like watching history in the making. In his mind, achieving his personal goals will only help make this team better. If I feel like I want to get 2,000 yards, um, I feel like if I get that, I'm doing my part and I'm helping the team, and hopefully we all, that's going to help the passing game, and then the passing game is going to help the running game. So when I feel like, when I feel like I got 2,000 yards, I don't say I just did it myself. I give credit to my offensive line. I give credit to my receivers, Vince Young, all those guys. I even give credit to my defense because they're out there working hard just to get us the ball back to put points up. So I give, I give the whole team credit. The whole team indeed. Now somebody asked head coach Jeff Fisher about CJ's off-season conditioning program and what type of shape he is in. Fisher had one of the best quotes of the week when he said, it's not like this guy can get any faster. Now when it comes to his personal goals for this season, I asked Johnson today about his comments to the Sporting News this summer and hope he really does believe that he can get 2,500 yards this season. I said 2,500, you said that to the Sporting News. Yep. 
Are you full of it? He said, nope, I believe I can do it. And maybe he can. And you know, but he's one of the few that really believes he can do it. I think most people might think 15, 16, maybe 1,800 yards. But hey, he's going to get fewer carries this year. So how's that all going to work out? Well, to another point, he was a holdout, yes. But he comes back into training camp pretty accessible. Very accessible to the media. He spoke yesterday to the, you know, what we call the, the, right. the gang the bang. Yeah. And, and everybody was there. And he spent a lot of time with everybody. Today, I was able to go right up to him and say, hey, Chris, do you have a second? And he spent a good five or six minutes with me. And I was very surprised by that. And, and I, I think that's a great thing for football fans everywhere, especially.